In this video, we are going to talk about how orange's juice is made in the factories and its processing technology. Orange juice is a liquid extract of the orange tree fruit produced by squeezing or re-aiming oranges. It comes in several different varieties, including blood orange, navel oranges, Valencia orange, clementine, and tangerine. The popularity of orange juice dramatically increased again with the development of the commercial orange juice industry in the late 1920s. In its early days, the juice industry primarily relied on salvaged fruit, which was unsuitable for regular consumption because it was misshapen, badly colored or blemished. In the 1930s, development of porcelain-lined cans and advances in pasteurization techniques led to improved juice quality, and the industry expanded significantly. Then, in 1944, scientists found a way to concentrate fruit juice in a vacuum and freeze it without destroying the flavor or vitamin content. The primary ingredient in orange juice is, of course, oranges. Oranges are members of the rue family, Rutaceae, and citrus trees belong to the genus Citrus. Oranges, along with all citrus fruits, are a special type of berry botanists referred to as a Hesperidium. Popular types of oranges include navel, mandarin, and valentia. A blend of different types of oranges is generally used to provide a specific flavor and to ensure freedom from bitterness. Selection of oranges for juice is made on the basis of a number of factors, such as variety and maturity of the fruit. Oranges are harvested from large groves. Some citrus grows are members of cooperative packing and marketing associations, while others are independent grows. When the mature fruit is ready to pick, a crew of pickers is sent in to pull the fruit off the trees. The collected fruit is sent to packing centers where it is boxed for sale as whole fruit, or sent to plants for juice processing. The oranges are generally shipped via truck to juice extraction facilities, where they are unloaded by a gravity feed onto a conveyor belt that transports the fruit to a storage bin. The fruit must be inspected and graded before it can be used. An inspector takes a 39.7 pounds sample to analyze in order to make sure the fruit meets maturity requirements for processing. Commercial orange juice with a long shelf life is made by pasteurizing the juice and removing the oxygen from it. This removes much of the taste, necessitating the later addition of the flavor pack, generally made from orange products. Additionally, some juice is further processed by drying and later rehydrating the juice, or by concentrating the juice and later adding water to the concentrate. The certified fruit is then transported along a conveyor belt where it is washed with a detergent as it passes over roller brushes. This process removes debris and dirt and reduces the number of microbes. The fruit is rinsed and dried. Graders remove bad fruit as it passes over the rollers, and the remaining quality pieces are automatically segregated by size prior to extraction. Proper size is critical for the extraction process. Proper juice extraction is important to optimize the efficiency of the juice production process, as well as the quality of the finished drink. The latter is true because oranges have thick peels, which contain bitter resins that must be carefully separated to avoid tainting the sweeter juice. There are two automated extraction methods commonly used by the industry. The first places the fruit between two metal cups with sharpened metal tubes at the base. The upper cup descends, and the fingers on each cup mesh to express the juice, as the tubes cut holes in the top and bottom of the fruit. The fruit solids are compressed into the bottom tube between the two plugs of peel, while the juice is forced out through perforations in the tube wall. At the same time, a water spray washes away the oil from the peel. This oil is reclaimed for later use. The second type of extraction has the oranges cut in half before the juice is removed. The fruits are sliced as they pass by a stationary knife, and the halves are then picked up by rubber suction cups and moved against plastic serrated reamers. The rotating reamers express the juice as the orange halves travel around the conveyor line. Some of the peel oil may be removed prior to extraction by needles which prick the skin, thereby releasing the oil which is washed away. Modern extraction equipment of this type can slice, ream, and eject a peel in about 3 seconds. The extracted juice is filtered through a stainless steel screen before it is ready for the next stage. At this point, the juice can be chilled or concentrated if it is intended for a reconstituted beverage. If a NFC type, it may be pasteurized. Concentrated juice extract is approximately five times more concentrated than squeezed juice. Diluted with water, it is used to make frozen juice and many ready-to-drink beverages. Concentration is useful because it extends the shelf life of the juice and makes storage and shipping more economical. Juice is commonly concentrated with a piece of equipment known as a thermally accelerated short time evaporator or taste for short. Taste uses steam to heat the juice under vacuum and force water to be evaporated. Concentrated juice is discharged to a vacuum flash cooler, which reduces the product temperature to about 55.4 degrees Fahrenheit. A newer concentration process requires minimal heat treatment and is used commercially in Japan. The pulp is separated from the juice by ultrafiltration and pasteurized. 
The clarified juice containing the volatile flavorings is concentrated at 50 degrees Fahrenheit by reverse osmosis, and the concentrate and the pulp are recombined to produce the appropriate juice concentration. The flavor of this concentrate has been judged to be superior to what is commercially available in the United States and is close to fresh juice. Juice concentrate is then stored in refrigerated stainless steel bulk tanks until it's ready to be packaged or reconstituted. Thanks to its low pH, about 4, orange juice has some natural protection from an automated process. The juice is extracted from the orange, while the peel is removed in one step. In an automated process, the juice is extracted from the orange while the peel is removed in one step. Bacteria, yeast, and mold growth. However, pasteurization is still required to further retard spoilage. Pasteurization also inactivates certain enzymes which cause the pulp to separate from the juice, resulting in an aesthetically undesirable beverage. This enzyme-related clarification is one of the reasons why fresh squeezed juice has a shelf life of only a few hours. Flash pasteurization minimizes flavor changes from heat treatment and is recommended for premium quality products. Several pasteurization methods are commercially used. One common method passes juice through a tube next to a plate heat exchanger, so the juice is heated without direct contact with the heating surface. Another method uses hot pasteurized juice to preheat incoming unpasteurized juice. The preheated juice is further heated with steam or hot water to the pasteurization temperature, typically reaching a temperature of 185 to 201.2 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 seconds is adequate to reduce the microbe count and prepare the juice for filling. When orange juice is heat treated there is an increase in the number of fine particles and decrease in that of coarse particles. The fine particles in particular are responsible for the appearance, color, and flavor of orange juice. Heat treatment plays a vital role on pulp volume, cloud stability, serum turbidity, and serum viscosity. Heat treatment stabilizes the cloud through enzyme inactivation and enhances the turbidity of a stable cloud formation. The increase in serum viscosity is due to the extraction of pectic substances into the serum. Based on Stokes' law, the increase in serum viscosity is the cause for the enhanced cloud stability. In relation to pulp volume, the pulp from heated juices was finer and more compact than unheated juice pulp, which was voluminous and fluff. In orange juice, pulp is responsible for desirable flow properties, taste, flavor, and mouthfeel. However, poppy orange juice precipitates based on a rate dependent on the diameter, density, and viscosity of the suspended particles, as well as the suspending juice. In order to remain suspended in orange juice, pulp particles must have appropriate particle size, charge, and specific gravity. Depending on type of processing method, the size of pulp particles ranges from 2 to 5 mm. Those that are smaller than 2 mm are known to be more stable, so it is beneficial to reduce the size of particles by incorporating hydrocolloids to the juice product. Hydrocolloids would decrease the rate of sediment formation and decrease the falling rate of pulp particles. To ensure sterility, the pasteurized juice should be filled while still hot. Where possible, metal or glass bottles and cans can be preheated. Packaging which cannot withstand high temperatures, e.g., aseptic, multi-layer plastic juice boxes which don't require refrigeration, must be filled in a sterile environment. Instead of heat, hydrogen peroxide or another approved sterilizing agent may be used prior to filling. In any case, the empty packages are fed down a conveyor belt to liquid filling machinery, which is fed juice from bulk storage tanks. The filling head meters the precise amount of product into the container, and depending on the design of the package, it may immediately invert to sterilize the lid. After filling, the containers are cooled as fast as possible. Orange juice packaged in this manner has a shelf life of 6 to 8 months at room temperature. Juice filling machine is one of the main equipment in juice filling line. It consists of 3-in-1 machine of bottle washing, filling, and capping. It also has a material return tank and a circulation system. The flushing bottle and the filling part do not need a conveyor belt connection, and the star wheel conveys it. The machine is fully automatic controlled, simple, and convenient to operate, easy to arrange the equipment of the filling room, and control. First, bottles are sent to the bottle washer by star wheels through the air channel. In the rotary disc of the bottle washer, there are clamps holding the bottles and turning it upside down. Meanwhile, water spurt from nozzles and wash the inside of the bottle. After washing and drying, the bottles were turned over again by the clamps. Next, the bottles were conveyed to the filling part by star wheels. In the filling process, the bottles are held by bottleneck clamps and elevated up by cams. When the bottles reach up to the filling valves, they open automatically. Then the juice fills into bottles under gravity force. When the juice reach to a certain level, the bottles go down and the valves shut down. After that, the bottles are transmitted to the capping machine by the bottleneck clamps. 
a bottle capping machine has two parts, the rotation stopper hold the neck of the bottle and prevent it from rotation, while the cap screw fulfill the cap grabbing, covering, and screwing. After bottle capping, the finished bottles are transmitted to the conveying chain by star wheels, and transmitted out of the juice filling machine. Quality is checked throughout the production process. Inspectors grade the fruit before the juice is extracted. After extraction and concentration, the product is checked to ensure it meets a number of USDA quality control standards. The most important measurement in orange juice production is the sugar level, which is measured in degrees bricks, percentages by weight of sugar in a solution. The types of oranges used, and the climate in which they were grown, affect the sugar level. Manufacturers blend juices with different sugar levels together to achieve a desired sugar balance. The final juice product is evaluated for a number of key parameters include acidity, citrus oil level, pulp level, pulp cell integrity, color, viscosity, microbiological contamination, mouth feel, and taste. A sensory panel is used to evaluate subjective qualities like flavor and texture. Lastly, during the filling process, units are inspected to make sure they are filled and sealed appropriately. Future processing improvements are likely to come from the use of computer-controlled sizing and grading of fruit. Orange juice formulations will see changes as the trend toward adding more nutrition-oriented ingredients, such as antioxidants, continues. In addition, future formulas are likely to be blends of orange juice with other, more exotic, fruit flavors, like kiwi, or even vegetable juices, and carrot. The health value of orange juice is debatable. It has a high concentration of vitamin C, but also a very high concentration of simple sugars, comparable to soft drinks. As a result, some government nutritional advice has been adjusted to encourage substitution of orange juice with raw fruit, which is digested more slowly, and limit daily consumption. The orange juice chain is a unique commodity, since only two regions in the world are responsible for around 80% of the production the states of Sao Paulo in Brazil. And Florida in the US, Sao Paulo has a weather advantage because it is a hurricane-free area with minimal risks of frost and drought.